Welcome to The Blitz, a podcast from Coram Deo Church. The Blitz is all about tackling tough topics head on at full speed. Are you ready? Well, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, good whatever time of the day it is that you happen to be checking out this podcast. My name is John, pastor at Cormdale Church, and I'll be your host again today on The Blitz, and not just any Blitz, but on this special Pride Month edition of The Blitz, in which I am uh, specifically um, addressing particular issues uh, with Pride ideology, with the LGBTQ uh, movement, and also at the same time inviting you to uh, submit questions. And at the end of the series, I'll be uh, responding to some of those questions. And so we've already got some uh, some questions in, really good practical, uh, you know, challenges that Christians deal with trying to be faithful in a uh, a world that has gone mad and lost its mind. And so uh, definitely excited and looking forward to that. So if you've got your questions, go ahead and send them to Pastor. P-A-S-T-O-R, pastor at quorumdalechurch.org. And at the end of the month, um, I'll put those together and uh, I will respond to them. Uh, Today, I'm going to be talking about sodomy and societal suicide. And you see what I did with all the S's there? Sodomy and societal suicide. I want to talk about how the LGBTQ ideology, um, this applies also to the L, to the lesbians, um, but particularly to the men, to uh, the homosexual men, for those who, as the Bible would say, pro- practice uh, sodomy, that is laying with a man, the way that you uh, were created by God to uh, lay with a woman. That's what we're talking about. And my argument, uh, the point I want to make today is that any culture that embraces that ideology, that activity, that kind of uh, uh, behavior is uh, is essentially um, killing itself. It is the death of a society. To embrace sodomy is to embrace your own death. It is societal suicide. And so I want to explain why that is. And this really uh, isn't rocket science. This should be pretty uh, basic and normal. And I'm, I'm not going to be graphic in my language, um, but I'm going to just try and just make a plain clear case that any culture, any society that embraces sodomistic, that's a word, behavior um, is is totally doomed. Okay, so here we go. Um, the birth rate in our country, and, and this is pretty much uh, true across the board of all countries, the birth rate has dropped by about 50% in the last 50 years. So families, particularly women, are having half as many children uh, in their lifetime. They're having half as many children as they were just 50 years um, ago. That's, uh, that's quite problematic because the birth rate that is required, that is necessary for a population just to maintain its number. So this is not a population that is increasing. This is a population that is just uh, maintaining um, itself is uh, approximately 2.1, a birth rate of 2.1. And so that 0.1 is accounting for um, sickness of people that die uh, early in life. So uh, each family needs to have 2.1 children for the population just to stay um, level, right? That's no loss. It's not declining. It's not increasing. It's just uh, staying level. 2.1, okay? 2.1. Uh, let me give you some birth rates around the world. In Afghanistan, the birth rate is 4.64. In Iraq, it's 3.5. In Yemen, it's 3.8. Those are definitely Islamic uh, countries, but they're also tend to be cultures that um, that understand the importance of of uh, children and family because because family is about the future. If you have no family, you have no future, right? You need people to have a society, a functioning culture. If you have no people, you have no future. Okay, so so um, those countries have a higher 
um, birth rate statistically, even you know globally, it's significantly higher, um, and and they are you know they're having lots of kids. Uh, let me give you some other rates. In Japan, the birth rate is 1.3. In China, it is uh, 1.16. And I've seen some reports that say it's even lower than that. That means that those countries are shrinking. They do not have a future. At the current rate, China will not exist. The Chinese culture, the Chinese people, the Chinese link, it will not exist if that birth rate continues. Same thing with Japan. Russia, which surprised me, I thought that Russia would have a higher birth rate. Uh, Russia has a birth rate of 1.49. So uh, a little bit more than Japan and China, but yet still below that 2.1, which is necessary uh, just to sustain a particular population. In the United States, the birth rate has dropped to 1.66 per woman, okay? So what that means is that the, the, the birth rate right now is below the maintaining level, which means our population will be in decline and it will continue to decline until there is a significant change in the birth rate. 1.66. If you maintain that, you're not going to exist uh, in in the future. There's no future. It's societal suicide. So I want to point out the obvious that the birth rate for women in the United States is 1.6, but the birth rate for men, brace yourself, is zero, right? It's it's zero. Men cannot <laughs> uh, conceive of a child the way that the woman does. There is a biological reality. It's called ovaries and a uterus and all the things. Men were not created with, with these things. They cannot nurture a child. They cannot produce a child. They cannot nurse a child. They can't do any of this, okay? So we already have a birth rate of 1.6 per woman, but the birth rate with men is is absolutely zero. And so what what happens is as a culture embraces sodomy and homosexuality, as that becomes something that is seen as a virtue that is celebrated, let's just say, let's go out on a whim and say that a culture just decided to take a whole month and celebrate this all along and just talk about how wonderful this is. Men sleeping with each other, men being with men like they uh, ought to be with women, how God designed them to be, men and men, sodomy. Imagine a culture that did that and celebrated that and made a big deal out of that, right? That ideology, right, leads to societal suicide because farmers, if I can speak here in biblical language, right, um, when you cast your seed uh, on something that seed was not meant to grow and it's not going to grow, it doesn't work, there is no harvest, right? A man and a man cannot produce a child. A man and a man cannot produce a future. A man and a man cannot produce life. And so the more that we celebrate homosexuality, the more that we celebrate um, those who practice sodomy, right? When we, when we celebrate those things, when we celebrate that as an identity and we celebrate that as an activity, right? It, it, is, it is societal suicide because it is contrary to the way God made us. God made men for women and women for men in the in the context of of the the covenant of marriage. There is the giving of love and there's intimacy and the fruit of that is life. Right? Husbands and wives loving one another leads to life. It leads to a future. It leads to reproduction. When you start to mess with that, when you start to change the ingredients there, when you start to mess with that equation, right, you don't get life and you don't get a future. You get nothing. And so what you can know for certain is that as sodomy becomes more mainstream, right, in, um, uh, in the Supreme Court in, in 2016, right, with their, uh, their declaration of, of same-sex marriage, right, that, that, was, a, that was a shot uh, against the birthright because it, it's, it's taking something, marriage, which is meant to produce 
uh, children and offspring, which are necessary for a future and a culture and a civilization, right? And it and it redefined that into something that that cannot produce children. Right? It cannot produce children. As a side note, the the same sex marriage. Uh, lie and the celebration of sodomites and sodomy and lesbians, right, is leading to the industrialization of the womb in which uh, same sex couples want to have children. They can't have children because they're living in defiance to God's uh, instruction and his order and his revealed will and his design for humanity and flourishing in the family. They're living in, against that, contrary to that. So they can't. They can't have offspring, but they can buy them, right? That's, that's the only other option. You have to procure them in some different way. And then you're taking children out of the very context that they were meant to thrive in, which is with their family. So understand this, that any culture, any society that embraces sodomy, that celebrates sodomy, and this would also apply to uh, lesbians as well, it, it's societal suicide because you are taking the birth rate and you are decreasing it even more, right? Right now, it's already low. It's already below the level that is required to simply sustain a population, right? That is going to um, decrease. Studies show that about half of the countries in our world have a birth rate that is below the replacement rate. So, so half of the countries, if they continue in the trajectory that they are currently on, they will not exist in the future. Their culture won't exist. Their language won't exist. Their way of life won't exist, right? You think that people who are for diversity would be concerned about entire populations and cultures disappearing. But the current trend indicates that half of these countries, right, they are right now, they are below the replacement rate. And, uh, and there are um, estimates that 97% uh, of the countries, and this is like in the next uh, maybe two generations, this is like by, tw- by, by 2100, in the next two generations, that 97% of the countries will be below the replacement rate. They will have a birth rate below the replacement rate, which means that in the next two generations, almost every single country and culture will be in decline, right? And there are all sorts of of uh, economic challenges that come, right? Our 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 culture, right? We have older people living on support that is generated by taxes. Okay, when you have more people that are elderly and less young people paying the taxes, it does not work. It just simply doesn't work. So there are there are pragmatic issues, there are economic issues, there are moral issues. But you have to understand, sodomy is societal suicide. And there are inescapable consequences from uh, that ideology. Sodomy is societal suicide. Understand that. Okay, I hope this was helpful. If you've got any questions, again, feel free to ask me, pastor at corndalechurch.org, and we will uh, do our best to respond to those at the end of this month or early in July. And uh, until then, take care. See ya.